There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Oh, goody. Look. Yeah, more combat. Careful. Body. We barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. The climb up there. I don't know how that would get us inside. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis. I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think you mean charming and theatrical. Entertaining is another word that comes to mind. Charismatic. See what I mean? Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. Ooh! See, you gotta smooth talk him into helping cover. us out. Fine, I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. Oh, <laughs> Walker Lewis! Oh my god, why are you so happy? Safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! I hope he starts singing. Please start singing. That'd be amazing. He isn't just raining, he sings to them. Alright. No more finesse. Just kick their butts. Uh, hit that one. Making quick work of them. We don't need to do the stun, which is interesting. Just a matter of what's better for you, I guess. Uh, they're not gonna do anything. Okay. I can't. Kill them though? I guess we're just gonna go through. Oh god. Oh jeez. What is he waiting for? Come on, come on. Fucking Lewis. Just give him a second. We may not have a second. Oh jeez. What what what's going on? I don't understand. Was I ready? Should I have done something else? Okay. There you go. Sneak and grab food. Sneak and grab food. Where are we sneaking into and grabbing food from? There, I guess. Let's run, run, run. Oh, hi, friend! Square. There we go. Hopefully it's still intact. Oh, those two are still in there. Yep. Hi, guys. Sorry to intrude. Surprised you didn't topple over. I love this song. I saw some. I saw someone walk back there. I saw something. Oh Jesus! Yes, these will what? be perfect. Clint, look. Is that new? Try it out. See if it works. Yep, it does. Okay, turn it off. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> oh boy, I don't like this.
Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. One. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna take forever. What, what are you doing? Okay. Jar of food. Two. It's gonna be a feast. The banana jar! Oh, I'm making a comeback. Anything else? Stand. Just wait for something bad to happen. Slowly. Wait, what? Wait. Don't oh, God. Yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. Oh, oh, he's the guy. I don't have to. Who are you? The name's Abel. And I'm hungry as hell. Your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this I place I was supposed already. to talk to strangers. You organized some effort to get inside. So you probably also knew the stash was there. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. Then you just got extra lucky. Yep. Lucky duckies, what they call me. Oh, too soon. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. I count you plus the two outside. I'm thinking maybe more. You got a camp in these here woods? You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that, if you want. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> oh, hi, friend. Well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's it. Oh, jeez, don't do it. Don't steal. Gonna make from noise. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. You wouldn't let a hungry man starve now, would you? Kid. I'm gonna I regret this to so this. stinking hard. AJ, get down! You piece of shit! What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. Surprised that was so quick and seamless, but there's gonna be consequences. Oh, we're gonna find out that was like their dad. They're everyone's long lost dad or something. Oh jeez, XXXX. I put the controller down. I don't know why I did that. I feel like if I didn't do them, Violet would have. I don't know. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, I'm so surprised like I was expecting like him to like Graze him with a bullet or something like it would hit him in the arm or he would get a shot in at the last second But no, that was quick and this game is good You are not listening to me Marlon listen to me. I am telling you the place was ransacked fine. We'll deal with it. Oh, wait, but now we're gonna get in trouble because we killed someone in their group Take and they're gonna come while. after us. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, jeez. Oh, I just thought of the consequences to the entire thing of thing. I should have lowered the gun. A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! It's food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. 
Like, seriously, it's a lot. It was a team effort. The real Listen, superpower of teamwork. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Oh god, please don't be someone you know. Did he follow you? Nope. Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. No, it wasn't awesome. I don't know if no, there, no, don't teach did, him that. He won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. He did not survive that. What the hell were you thinking? This is oh. fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? Really? You don't Brody's know what people oh, no. are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means... There's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious. Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. Oh, jeez. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. I'll hold myself responsible too, I'm sorry. It probably was- oh, I didn't even think of like him possibly surviving that. Oh, don't- why'd you put that idea into my head? He did. He did. But... Shit. I'm sorry. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, Me neither. If there was, I didn't see it. Hard keeping this together. <laughs> well. At least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Oh, everyone's mad at me? Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Starting? Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. I don't know how to respond to that. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Oh, that's sweet. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A well, lot I better like than some too. smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? Oh, they weren't always walkers. 
wherever this place is, everyone You're so nice! Oh my Sometimes god, you're so stinking nice. The way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just got to hold still. Sure, why not? Ten, I'll remember oh, that. I almost forgot. Smile. Smile! Here you go. Don't ever forget to smile. It's yours. It's ours. Aww! It's getting late. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. I'm surprised how well that went, considering like we made him upset because we kept his art supplies. This is this is so good. It's clear. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And there were so many rabbits to shoot. Whoosh. <laughs> no. Why can't we have bunny friends? It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too. Before the blood. Oh, do we get to know about that? This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it here. I like it. Now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. Time to decorate! You can now place collectibles in your room. Hey, intense drawing right next there. to that's a good drawing. AJ's whatever his name is, I almost forgot. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. I assume his picture would have had color if... Yeah, he probably would have had color to his. Hmm. <laughs> so cute. For Clem from AJ. Me protecting Clem. Anything else? Guess that's it. Well, this is a fun time. We're two hours and 17 minutes in. I'm, I'm liking how long this first episode is. It seems like they've gone back to the roots and like they've done something new and good and fun and I like so it. I'm used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. I'm so happy. Okay, well. I think we're almost ready to go to bed. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar. Do I gotta get Lewis in here to sing you a lullaby? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Just nah, not yet. Nothing over here. So, reflections on today. How about that? Well, like at the end of every day, we'll have reflections on what we did. Just to draw out the episode even longer. I... I don't know. Now that everything is settled with Ten, I'm very happy that like he doesn't seem upset about anything. And everything's just good and stuff. 
so that's good. I don't really, I'm not upset about missing out on that decision, and Violet didn't really seem to mind. The thing with Brody, I was, I didn't think it would upset her so much. I don't blame her because like she's been through so much, and I don't blame anyone for being emotional during this time. Uh, I am terrified now. Like if he didn't actually die, that's scary to think about. The thing is, like, uh, if I told AJ, AJ to shoot, that would have been a more guaranteed kill, but then AJ would have that blood on his hands. I'm sure he's killed before, though, so I don't know. There was no option. I'm I'm really interested in, in what would have happened if I had done nothing. It's so weird, because, like, I'm so used to being the pacifist in, like, every situation. Like, the thing with stinking... God, what was his name? The guy... Who... I can't believe I'm forgetting someone's name in Walking Dead. Uh, the guy who... I think... Was his name Reed or something? The guy who was... Making us... Have Clem as a hostage in Season 3 and we had to... He was holding Gabe as a hostage. And we had to, like... Um... Either shoot him or... Uh, put Clem into that hostage situation and I put Clem in the hostage situation which was really terrible but it wound up being good in the end so oh I don't know I really don't know I hope that was an okay decision I feel like just my influence on AJ in that scenario is the least of my concerns it's just a matter of whether or not that guy's coming back and if he had a group I should have asked that question if he had a group uh, but he could have lied I don't know, we'll, we'll think about it later, I guess. For now, let's get some sleep. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. <laughs> 